Hey everybody, it's Amanda Moxley. I'm so excited to talk with you. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to figure out your niche in five minutes or less. Are you excited about that? I know I am. I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, share this video over to my personal page. So walk with me over here in the office. So if you're here, say hi. Hi, Julie. Are you ready to figure out your business niche in five minutes or less? I figured you would be because it's actually really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it right here right now today and if you're here say tell me that you're here hi Lisa love you all right so hold on yeah I'm not in my robe today <laughs> did you guys see my video in my robe I just couldn't handle it I just had to wear my robe so I'm excited we're going to talk about how to figure this shiz out in five minutes or less and by the way if you ever want to connect with an incredible copywriter Check out Lisa Rothstein. She teaches people how to write amazing copy. She has been my copywriter. Um, isn't it great? She's been my copywriter for years and years and years and helped me really reach a lot of people. So I recommend doing her class, uh, connecting with Lisa Rothstein. Pop, pop your email in there. Um, or your, what, what do you call it? Um, your website. We've been friends. We're in a mastermind together. She is the best. So anyway... So Lisa Rothstein is the best, and I highly recommend her. She's a Madison Avenue copywriter. Okay, so now this bit light is better, right? Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys. If you're here, say hi. Uh, tell me where you're um, coming from. You can ask me questions. Okay, so how to figure out... First of all, if you're new to this page and you're just seeing this, go ahead and like Amanda Moxley. It's a um, health and wealth coach, and it's on my Facebook business page. So go ahead and like that page because I am very close to 4,000 likes. Can you believe it? After all these years, I'm finally getting to 4,000 likes, and uh, I would love that. I'd love your uh, your like, and then um, I'll be sent. You'll getting update. You'll be getting updates. I'm getting really visible and sharing lots of content and valuable tips. I have a whole entire you know, masterpiece of awesomeness to share with you guys. So I'm going to be sharing it. I'm also, I also, hi Blair. I also have a really great Facebook group called Be You and Make Bank. I'll pop the link into that in here as well. Okay. So first of all, I really want to talk to you about how to figure out. Now we've all heard the riches are in the niches, right? Or the niche and that you want a niche until it actually hurts. And I find that when you are a generalist, what happens? When you are a generalist, you get paid as a generalist. If you want, if you have a specific problem, like one of my friends, her father is a is a, a surgeon for knees, and he's like the best, right? He's the best surgeon. Everyone knows him. He's famous, and everyone wants to go to the surgeon because he is the top dog. And they're not going to a generalist. They're not going to some per, you know knee doctor. They're going to him because he's the best. And so you want to really, especially online, you need to be standing out in front of this crowded marketplace. Like it or not, there are a lot of people, which I like because I feel that we are living in this day and age where we all get to share our gifts and we all have talents and there's plenty and there's abundance and the world needs us. And I really believe that we were not meant to live in cubicles and drive in a cubicle, you know, drive in a cubicle and drive and, you know, go live these lives that we don't want to live. So it's awesome. There's so many people, but you have your own unique special sauce, your own unique medicine that, that the world is waiting for. And how are we going to, I'm going to help you figure this out in five minutes or less. So here's an example. I just did an event this week called rise up and speak your way to success. And I have been a business coach since 2012. Before that, I was a holistic health coach from 05 to 12. And I, um, and I have even niched down even further into helping women create a successful talk that attracts their next two to five clients with every talk that they deliver. And I help women create a signature talk from A to Z and then also be able to create the gap, which then allows their clients to understand that working with them is the next step. And then I coach them how to create a premium program that offers a transformational lifetime value and also price for that price for that premium package that creates a transformation that the client wants. And I also teach them how to sell and help enroll through and I call myself and don't steal this because I love it we are sales angels so it's it's really about serving and it's about being a sales angel so I have niched down even more in this last year to helping people before that I was a little bit more general and I was like the healthy wealthy biz mentor or pop your biz in 90 days or less or healthy wealthy biz mentor right so as this market the coaching market which is a billion dollar industry as it has gotten more and more and more people 
there is more competition. So we need to even be even brighter with our light and take a stand for exactly what you do, how you serve, and what your wisdom is. So um, give me an, give me a little, give me a number seven in the comments if this is resonating with you. So give me a seven in the comments if this is resonating with you. And uh, hi, good. Okay, so give me a seven if this is resonating, and then give me um, give me an N or niche if you if you think right now you are already niched. Right now, do you feel like you are you are niching that you have a specific problem, which I call a plane is crashing solution. So let me take you. I'll talk talk to you about this. So I want you to imagine that you're in an airplane. And this airplane is flying from Salt Lake City, where I live, to LA. And it's going, so it's like an hour ride. And all of a sudden, the plane is crashing. And you've got 20 minutes to galvanize the people, to wake these people up, to save these people. And you're going to wake these people up and galvanize these people to wake up so you can save them from this plane that is crashing. You have the solution. And so you have 20 minutes to deliver something that they know that that is their problem and they need your help and you are the one and you are the leader that's going to actually help them uh, land the plane and, and survive and transform their lives. So you want something to be specific. You're in a plane. The plane is crashing. The plane is crashing and you have 20 minutes. So this all came to me because I wasn't on, I was on an airplane last fall. And I sat next to this lady and she said, oh, I'm a life coach. And I was like, okay, so I'm a coach. It was so synchronistic that we even sat next to each other. We were going to the same conference. I sat next to this awesome lady from Montana where I actually went to college. And uh, she tells me she's a life coach. And I'm like, oh, boring. Like, what part of life coaching? You know, like, can you get a little bit more specific? And, and then she started to tell me a little bit more about her life story and how she, you know, what she really loves and who she is. And and, and then I was like, okay, hey, this, this is what you do. You're not just a life coach. You... And at that time, you know, she had actually, whatever, I don't remember, I'm not, I don't know if she claimed it. Here's another, here's another perfect example. Another client of mine, she was a holistic health coach. And as a holistic health coach, she had a business called Harmonious Way to Health, which is awesome, right? But what, how to figure out your niche in five minutes or less, you do this. Number one, you have to mine your past. So I helped, you know, I coached my client and I helped mine her past, like I'm a gold miner and I'm going in there and I'm going to mine her past, her history to figure out what she, what, what has she overcome? What have been her turning points? What has she transformed? What has she studied? What has she really become an expert in? What, is, what are her gifts? What are her talents? So I mined her past and I found out that this woman had actually, she had overcome from adult onset, adult acne. So so that, so anyway, you know, so what are the, what are the consequences of having adult acne? I don't have it, thank God, but I, and I never had it. I was had really good skin, but I know that people who have pimples, especially when they're older, it's like embarrassing. You don't want to show your face. You're, um, you're afraid to be visible. Maybe you're embarrassed around the other kids at school, their parents, like you're not wanting to be intimate or show, you know, there's a lot of consequences to that. And so she healed herself from acne. Um, completely holistically and as she healed herself from acne holistically I was like bam that is your plane is crashing solution because would you guys if you were googling and you had a real problem because people pay for what people pay to get either out of pain or into pleasure so if I was up in the night and I was just had enough of my acne would I google harmonious way to health or would I google how do I overcome this freaking adult acne Right. So would you so we came up with that. She was actually the acne breakthrough coach and she helps people get confident so they can face the world again. That is a plain is crashing solution. Harmonious way to health is very general. So she's going to get paid as a generalist unless she has the faith and the courage to, to really go forth and claim that that's her space and that's her platform she's standing on. OK, so right so here's what I want you to do. Yeah, so it's Lisa Rostin. They all want to know who you are, the Madison Avenue copywriter, Lisa. So um, she'll share her, um, her info with you. So, okay, so then 
Um, yesterday, so I had my event and I made an invitation for people to join me in my Speak Your Way to Success in 90 Days program where I teach you all these components of creating a signature talk and then getting booked to speak and your media kit and creating your plane is crashing solution and then um, enrolling up to two to three clients with every talk you deliver. So this client comes, this woman who has been to my event two times, she comes up to me, she's like, I really want to do this, but I don't know what I do yet. So I said, so anyway, I said, oh, I can help you. I can totally help you. We'll mine your past. We'll figure out. So you mine your past. That's how you figure it out. So I'm sitting there talking to this woman on the phone yesterday. And she's telling me all the things that she wants to do. She's telling me that she's in a soul-sucking job, that she's in her comfort zone, that she and that she wants to empower women. So I go and I dig and I dig. And she's like, oh, yeah, I've been in sales since 1980. I've been in, I've been in sales. And I said, okay, so you've been in sales and you've been selling for over 30 years, 35 years. She's like, oh, yeah. And I said, oh, well, how much money has crossed your fingertips that you've actually sold? She's like, oh, millions. I'm like, so you're telling me that you have 35 years of experience in sales and you've actually sold over a couple million dollars through your little hands. And she's like, yeah. And she's like, I had no idea that that. And I was like, that is, I, and she's like, and she and I said, tell me more about sales. Tell me more about what you like about sales and she was going on and on she's like sales is a language and sales is a way of being and it's and it's just like and it's about relating to people and it's a way of being and the way of connecting and it's a language i said tell me more about the sale the sales language so in that we figured out that that is her plane is crashing solution and then her unique twist on that is that she wants to empower women and she got a little teary and i said what what is it about empowering women and she said I just feel that in this day and age, in this, this time in history, we need to empower women. And I said, okay, so would sales be a tool which you could teach? And she would then created her signature system, which would be based, we haven't developed it all the way, but you know, this is just in a, a, in a breakthrough session with me, right? She isn't even my client yet, but I was able to nail down and um, what her plane is crashing solution, what her niche is. And then we laid out what her signature system would look like, which would be her sales language. Give me a little, um, give me a thumbs up or a number two in the comments if you would love to know the language of sales from someone who is, who has sold over millions of dollars in sales, and someone who has um, been in sales and and been studying and living and living off a hundred percent commission for over thirty five years. I mean, that is some street cred and that is power. And so, what this client said, isn't that great? What she said was she said, I had no idea. Why didn't I even think about this sale, that I, I would do sales? So here's the thing, your niche and what you're gifted at is as close as your neck vein. You can't see it. Everybody else can see it and they can feel it and they know that's who you are and they, and they I bet her family is like, oh, she's just so gifted at sales and she just, she just sells millions of dollars and she's just so great, but she can't see it because it's as close as our neck vein. Okay, so uh, it's all about who you are. And in this day and age of the personal brand, thank you, Tori. Tori thinks that's a total two. In this day of the personal brand, this is a time for you to own all of your gifts and bundle them in and really stand in that power of this is who I am, this is how I help, this is my unique signature system of how I take people through the transformation that I facilitate that they can then receive a lifetime value and results from. So it's so exciting and that's really it, you mine your past. So for me, when I mine my past, if this is helpful, for me, I you know, have been speaking, I've been using speaking to attract clients since I started my business in 2005. And I did it by being a Bikram yoga teacher and I taught up to six classes a week and then I enrolled my clients, um, all my very first clients by doing speaking, even if I was speaking at a local church or, you know, community center and there were two people there, two of those people would become clients. So I then, of course, was became very general and I was just like, I'm going to help people pop their biz or create a healthy, wealthy biz but I wasn't specific with the speaking and using talks to attract their ideal clients. And then for me, I went on to then host events and live events, three day events. And then that's how I was able to create a year's worth of income in three days. And so that's what I teach. And it's all right inside of you, your own little story. So, um, so is that helpful? Give me some thumbs up if that is helpful. So what I want you to do is I want you to journal your story, journal your history, and pick out the juicy gems and the nuggets, and that is where you will find the gold. 
then you pack up, you package that gold, you package it up, and then you begin to sell it. Thank you, Tori. You begin to offer it because that's your gift. I mean, that client, that's her gift to help people, help empower women with sales. Another client, that's her gift to help people overcome acne. People pay for what they really want help with. So don't play small, play big, and really own your gifts. And it might take a while. You'll get tested, right? You'll get tested. So just stay with it. And then, um, yeah, and then what did I want to say to you guys? So that's really how you do it, five minutes or less. But it's up to you to have the courage to actually own it and claim it. Because if you don't claim it, uh, and then of course, working with a coach, sometimes you can't see it. And you don't, right? Like this client couldn't see it. The acne coach couldn't see it. So maybe you can't see it. That's why you really need a coach. I'm happy to offer you all a free um, breakthrough session called Speak Your Way to Success Breakthrough Session. If you're interested in that, uh, just, you know, say, say, you know, hit me up or say, I don't know, what should we say here? Give me, yes, man, just say yes. And then what I'll do is I'll share with you two things. I'll share with you uh, my webinar, which will walk you through my process of how I help people. And then on the back of that, if it feels like a fit, you can book a, break a breakthrough session. And there's no attachment. You don't, you know, if you're feeling the calling, if you're like, oh yeah, I want to work with Amanda, then we can talk about those next steps. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. So yeah, let me know if that's something you want to do. Because it's so helpful to have a coach, and we all deserve to have a coach, because the coaches can see things that you can't see. And they help you go to your next level. And I continuously invest in coaching because when you're a coach, especially, you need your own, you need your own coach, right? So, okay, I'm going to answer some questions here. Yeah. Lisa. Lisa. A jacket. Oh, thank you. Okay, hi. Okay, so Bridget. Dipping in from North Texas, just checking you out, but not in a creepy way. Oh, you check it, Bridget. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for saying hi, too. All right, let's see. Uh, Tori, I help empathetic women turn on their intuition and stop doubting themselves. Is that niche enough? Um, empathetic women. Okay, so in what way are they doubting themselves? I help empathetic women turn on their intuition. So I think you need to get a little bit more specific. I would call myself an empath. But how, what is the consequence of me as an empathetic woman, empath woman? What is the consequence of me not turning on my intuition? And what problem do you solve? Okay, so stop doubting myself. So where do I doubt myself? Do I doubt myself? And the main niches are career. Uh, the second one would be relationships. The third one, health and body. The fourth one uh, would be, you know, intimacy. I guess the relationships goes with intimacy, um, sexuality, intimacy, relationships. The other one, and then of course it could be parenting. There's all sorts of di different niches and relationships. And then there's career, business, money, finances. So you need to get specific in which niche do you help. I know, Tori, you can help people in all those niches, but the, the more specific, and you look at your own story, how did you, how did you end up using your own intuition to stop doubting yourself and, and what were the results and, and in what area? What were the consequences for you when you, Tori, did not use your intuition? What happened? And that's how you develop your seminar story because perhaps, you know, you shouldn't have married that guy and you married that guy and then he beat you and, you know, all this horrible stuff happened. And so now you want to help other empath women. Maybe I'm totally psychic. I don't know if this is you, but then, um, you know, okay, so maybe you help other empath women really trust their guts and not get sucked into a narcissistic relationship and really honor their intuition and take a stand for themselves. So find the niche within the niche, right? So mine is in business. Yours could be relationships. Yours could be in um, health. Or yours could be in money and business. Melissa, yay, tag her, there she is. Blushing, just PM me, yep, Lisa's the best. Totally agree. Yes, Blair, I've been uh, rethinking who I, and Blair, I'm so, have I met you before? Cause you're just like my raving fan right now and I love it. Thanks for tipping me off that someone copied my profile. My, I just saw that just before I got on to my assistant, thank God she went and reported it to Facebook. Someone just ripped off my whole profile and took my photos. That's freaky. And said I was a Bitcoin miner. 
Bitcoin miner, which would be kind of cool. I wish I was, but anyway, but I'm not, not yet. I've been rethinking who I'm talking to as I help people attract the one. I've known you before, I know it, Blair, as well as help people heal their love life blocks. So even though they are related, the conversation and my introduction and web copy goes in two different directions. So find the one and then heal their love blocks. So I would focus on healing the one. That is a plan is crashing solution. Sorry, finding the one. But in the process of finding the one they love, they need to heal the blocks that are blocking them. They're not going to pay money to go and heal the blocks to get the one. They want, you know, they're reaching 30, they're reaching 40. I mean, Lisa, for example, didn't get married until later on. There's so many people find love later on in life. It doesn't really matter your age, but that is a planet's crashing solution. So I would stick with that. I know I'm not your coach yet, but that's really what I'd say. So I do that. And then I'd say, you know, like when I was a health coach, I had, um, I help you remove your body barrier. Yeah. I help you remove your body barrier and, and move through, we're going to work on all your body issues, but then once we get rid of the body issues, then we're going to work on the other areas of your life. But I really focus on the body issues and the fact that they wanted to transform their bodies. And of course, now here's another thing. You give people what they want and what they think they want, not what you think they need. So here's a great example. My husband and I, hi Lata, um, my husband and I are taking this um, art of intimacy or ecstasy class, right? And so we're on all these modules and last night she's taking the whole video of all about the chakras. And I go to, I said to him, give them what they don't, give them what they need, not what they want. Like, I want to know, like I, I was a yoga teacher. I've studied in India. Like I know about chakras. I don't really need to know about the chakras when I need to learn about intimacy, but she's giving us a whole week on the chakras. So, so what I'm saying is you sell slash offer slash serve what they need, excuse me, what they want, right? What the want, what they want, the transformation they want. And then you provide what you know they need because part of this therapist strategy is to teach us about the chakras and to balance those. Okay. So Julie, I have too many niches and nothing is sticking. Julie, I known you too long. You need to pick one. Now that's the thing. Let me get some water. Oh, did I not bring my water? I didn't bring my water. I'm so thirsty. Oh. I'll wait. Okay. So Julie, I know you so long, right? And so what happens is you need to pick one and stick to it so you could get some street cred. So people get to know, oh, she's a girl that does that. She's a woman that does that. She's a woman that does that. If you're ping ponging and going from here to here to here and changing, just pick one and land on it. Now I know, you know, other people would say different, but if the riches are in the niches and the more you can dig down into one area for now and you get known for that, right? Like I started as a health and then I've, you know, evolved, evolved, evolved. So just choose one and devote six months to one year to it. And even if you're hearing, I know you got a course correct and you tweak and you get feedback, but you know, re, you know, share with us some of the ideas that you have, but this idea of nothing is sticking, it's a mindset and it's a decision point. And it's, uh, it's also about maybe there's some fear behind it that you're afraid to actually nail it down. Like even I'm actually going to get even more specific with my webinar funnel that I've got. And I'm going to get more specific here. I, I get it. Cause like when I first, you know, became a business coach in 2012, my coach said, Amanda, you need to help just health coaches. And then in 2014, I worked with some Aussie ladies and I did some videos and they said, you need to work just with health coaches. You need to biz be a business coach for health coaches. And I said, no, I've got copywriters. I've got, um, you know, vi you know, life visioning experts. I've got other business coaches. I coach, I have all sorts of people because I actually help them figure out who they are. Right. And I can't niche down, but now as I'm getting more specific with this automated webinar funnel with Facebook ads and et cetera, I'm now creating more specific where I actually have Hey, health coach. So I'm even niching even more helping health coaches, you speaking to attract their next two to five clients with every talk they deliver, which is a part of my seminar story and, and or my story. That's exactly how I got clients. So, you know, niching down, niching down. And I heard a client say to me yesterday, she's like, I'm working on niching, niching down until it even until it hurts. Right. And then once you have a big following, you got these raving fans, you can do, you can shift it around. But if you really have an income goal and you really want to work with a pocket of people and help them get that transformation, then really dial it down.
You got unengaged. All right, Tori, good. I love it. I feel like we're kind of, was that helpful? Uh, I pulled my clients and most women said they went want to learn how to love themselves with that fall in relationships. Yeah, but again, I mean, I don't know. I'm not in the night. Oh, how can I love myself? God, I wish I, right? So you can pull them, but it needs to be a little bit deeper. Why aren't they loving themselves? What's the consequence of them not loving themselves? Example, I had this, um, I, when I was a health coach, I had a program called uh, Love Your Body and the Beautiful, sorry, Love Your Body and the Beautiful Woman Emerging Program. And I was um, really like, oh, I just, I know these women just want to love themselves. They want to feel beautiful. And that's what I want to do. No one signed up for the program. But when I got specific and actually Lisa, you know, was actually work, I was working with her as my copywriter. And at that time we got specific that we want to get fit, fab and fierce and release up to 50 pounds in five months or less. I got really specific and I solved that problem. I was able to go and sell five, six spots at 5,000 who were totally ideal clients and they didn't lose that 50 pounds in that six month period or that five month period, but they did lose it. Melissa Frederick, go find her. She's a, she then became a health coach and a photographer. She's had a full on body transformation and it's because I held that space for her to step into that. So get specific where, what is it that they want to love? What is it? They want to love their belly. Do they want to love, love their hips and lose five pounds off their hips? Do they want to, you know, get more, just drill it down sister. Okay. Uh, my internet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, exactly. I was focusing on that, but then I was going to plan at an event and the thought of talking about the attract the one stuff made me feel like it was such an old topic for me. Yeah. That's the thing is a lot of like, I'm sitting here talking to y'all right now and I'm like, hi, Denise. I'm sitting here, I'm like, I've said this so many times. Like, Denise, how many times have you heard me say this? Like, uh, it's like, I say it over and over and over. But new people come and old people come back. And the thing is, the old people that come back, write this down, repetition is the mother of success. Repetition is the mother of success. So the more you hear it, the more you hear it, the more you hear it, then it clicks and they'll get it. So a commitment issue, I can say that because I have that issue too. Good. Marketing is it to a niche does not mean you can't take take on other clients. Exactly. So as I'm drilling down to health coaches, I just, I have two new clients that are health coaches, but I'm also now helping this new client who is getting her, you know, we just uncovered that she's a sales coach and we're going to develop her soul, you know, her sales language, right? So that doesn't mean that if I work with you, I can't work, you know, we're really in soul pods, I think, and we're here to help our soul family and the people that are drawn to us. So keep trusting in that. And that's how you figure out your niche in five minutes or less. Drill down, journal your story, and then claim it. That's the thing is what happens. Most people won't claim it and they wishy-wash and they ping pong and they go here and they go there and then they spin, 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 spin. And then they, that's why you have to, I believe in coaching because it really helps you. Hi. Yes. Like the coaching really helps you narrow down your focus and actually stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, stay focused, and really, we'll talk on another live stream about claiming, like creating a goal and not not going left or right until you absolutely claim that goal, okay? I've got some other fun things to quick share. I've had two clients tell me they've just enrolled in, the pro, in my Speak Your Way to Success program, and one of them said that she was um, teaching a yoga class today, and she was talking about some of the content I shared about making a decision, and when you draw the line in the sand, like everything works out, right? It just, you draw that line, you burn the ships and then everything, you know, transforms for you. So she had this experience where she, you know, brought that in as embodying this huge commitment she just made for herself and her business. And one of her clients said, you know what? I believe in you and your energy and I want to invest in your business. And so when you say yes, and then the universe knows, hey, we've got a player here. This girl is on fire. I want what she wants, and I'm going to help her and support her and bring all these people. But when we cower back in fear and disbelief and indecisiveness and feeling like we have to go it alone or figure it out or try to take it from here or there, and we just kind of like DIY our businesses, then the universe is like, okay, that's what she gets. She can keep spinning like that. So there was that great story from the client and then that just enrolled another one said she just enrolled yesterday and she said oh my gosh like she had been in this deep funk of a depression for the last three months and she'd had 
she just wasn't visible. She wasn't showing up and she's playing small and feeling really comfortable, like going more into her mom role than in her powerful uh, CEO of her business and her empire, like building that. And that she just decided to step up to work with me. And what, again, and what she said is since then, she was already able to enroll one client and she's got two or three more irons in the fire for her next client. So when, what you want wants you, what you are seeking is seeking you. And when you allow yourself to receive and you actually let go of, you know, resources or time or trying to do it alone, you, you create space for goodness to come in and fill up and for the universe to support you. Because if we're not alone on this journey, we have many, many angels with us. So I, I want to hear from you all. What was your biggest takeaway from today's live stream? And I want to hear what was your biggest aha, your biggest takeaway. And the second thing I want to hear Type it in the comments. What are your JFDIs? Just F and do it. Action steps. This is great. Amanda, you know, I put on my makeup. I'm in my light. I'm standing here telling you all this. But I, I, the reason why is number one, to give value. But I also need to take action and run with this. So what are you going to do? What action are you going to take? Who are you going to follow through with? What, you know, use this live stream, use this inspiration to take, to build on the momentum and actually go do something. And then let me know what happens. Okay. I'll post the links to my webinar in here for you guys to check out and I will see you at the next live stream. I think tomorrow I'll be talking about goals. Okay. So I'll see you and I'm going to be, if the weather's good, I'm going to be out on a hike in the beautiful nature and I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye for now.